use um, uh, the curved areas to extrude this handle out from. So I see that this handle start point is a bit um, wide. It's wider than how high it is. So, and I can see that it's on an, uh, a sharp edge here. So what I'm going to do is I'll select these polygons and these as well. I see more space from the top to the handle than from the the bottom to the handle. So I'm going to use these upper ones and these lower ones. So what I will do, actually, I'm going to select one uh, edge loops from the at the side so I can uh, work on them better. So just select these and um, I'm going to extrude them. And to extrude them out and just take this and uh, before actually doing that I'm going to reshape these uh, polygons to get that flat kind of shape there so what I can do is I'll select this uh, these two polygons go to my scale tool and uh, I'm going to press shift X again for constraint and just scale this in and scale this out a bit. I'm right now. I'm changing the sharpness of this um, area, but since this is going to have the handle, um, uh, it will lose its sharpness anyway. So uh, we'll still have the sharpness going on here and in between um, the handle upper and lower part, and over here as well. But we won't have it on the handle itself, so that's no problem. So we can scale this out a bit, scale it in, and do the same thing for this guy. Scale it out, scale it in, and just extrude them now. And actually, you can see that these handle uh, points where it comes out from the uh, from the muck shape. Those aren't the only uh, points uh, extruded. You can see there. There's one. Uh, there's a side here. There's a part here which is extruded out from the mug as well. So we do have some uh, geometry going on around here. Um, in the middle section of the uh, of the handle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab these polygons, extrude them a bit, just a bit, to get that thickness going on here and then I'm going to select the lower and the top polygons and extrude these out again but with a higher amount so right now I have that um, body of geometry going on here and uh, so what you can do right now is just grab this edge ring and add one edge uh, loop in the middle same to this part as well and now you can select these polygons the upper one and uh, just scale this down a bit well, actually my sh uh, constraint is uh, still on shift X I need to disable it and I'm going to press A for angle snap toggle so I will use you know, whole numbers uh, to rotate this uh, these polygons and right now I have 45 degrees going on I'm just going to use maybe uh, 50 move these down and I'm going to rotate these minus 50 just type these letters in uh, these values in and just move it up and what you can do is I will delete these polygons and these as well I'm going to my border select this border as well and just bridge it together so I have that geometry now going on I have the handle but you can see that this um, handle is a bit flatter on the upper part so and it's more out 
so just move this up like so right now you can like, shape it uh, like you want it to get that final look and you, can, you know you can maybe scale these in a bit and add one edge loop over there as well to give that curve so right now if we use our turbo smooth modifier we have something like that which looks you know, alright but this handle is uh, thicker and it's wider as well so we need to go back here select this whole uh, handle and you know what we can do you can go to uh, the left view select these uh, vertices and go to the top view and then deselect the ones on the side and uh, we can now just scale these out like so and maybe scale this part out a bit more and just enable the turbo smooth modifier right, uh, on right now and uh, you see that we have that nice smooth uh, geometry going on here and we have the handle as well uh, we do have a bit of uh, sharpness here at the uh, upper part you know this this um, part of the work is about you know, getting the details in and making it look right and uh, I'm just going to select this loop here, go to chamfer, I'm going to use two segment sides, move this down and just get that going on there. Turbo smooth. Maybe move this lower part in a bit and the upper one as well. It looks a bit um, outside to me move it in making sure that you know your fingers would go in here you need to think of you know will this work in real life and this mod will it be usable so so yeah that's pretty much it um, we finish modeling our mug you do have those um, you know artifacts going on in the in the inside and the lower part as well because you know this polygon is actually uh, it has like 16 sides and uh, you need to you know uh, maintain quads as you work but this inner part will not show but if it will show you just need to inset this actually just insert a bit and then you know just scale it in and you can decrease that part uh, where it looks bad but in this case you know uh, we're not gonna see that um, inner part so we don't need those uh, tweaks and yeah that's pretty much it so thanks for watching this tutorial and um, make sure you subscribe and uh, you can check out my Facebook page as well um, which I'll leave in the description and um, don't forget to check back for some new tutorials thanks again